Here's some troubleshooting tips in case of sticky or loose blades or other problems with the broadheads. Grim Reaper broadheads are guaranteed from defect in workmanship and materials subject to normal bow hunting use. The first thing you want to do is break in the broadhead. Break in the blades, assemble it onto an arrow shaft, and just open and close each blade. Make sure it's opening smooth all the way down and lock in place. Now if it feels sticky or loose, what you can do is actually pinch the blade between your thumb and index finger and as you're opening, push rearwardly. See how the blade will move and it'll, it'll help it open. And inside the cup there's a spring system that has to slide up and down smoothly on the aluminum ferrule. And when that's happening, then the blade will actually lock and click place like that. All three blades should open smoothly and should actually feel a clicking mechanism when it closes and when it opens. If, if breaking in the blades by opening and closing them does not solve the problem, you still have a loose blade or a sticky or hard to open blade, the next step is to check all the components of the broadhead, make sure they're all there. So you just want to make sure that springs there, right here, the notch ring is there, and the pivot ring is there. You also want to make sure that they're not damaged, make sure that they're clean, and that they're seated incorrectly. As you can see, the pivot ring there must slide up over the, the finger and the aluminum body. If it gets offset like that and you try to assemble it, the blades aren't going to work. You can see how the pivot ring is not aligned on the keyway of the aluminum body here with the ferrule. And that puts a lot of stress, stress and strain on the spring. This one blade over here doesn't have any retention pressure from the spring. See, it just wobbles. That can be a, a problem also. So, just need to make sure you align it up properly. So just make sure that everything's seated correctly. There's actually a separate separate notch ring here and right there I think you can see where the two ends of the, the wire come together and actually form a gap. Um, Make sure that that is not in line with one of these blades. If it get, lines up with it, then it's possible that the blade could wedge in between there and would not open or, or be loose. So if, if that gap is in line with the blade, move it over and line it up with the, the finger right here on the aluminum. It's real important that the spring can slide up and down and the notch ring can slide up and down on that aluminum post. That's how the, the blade retention mechanism works. You also want to check the slotted cup inside, make sure it's clean, make sure there's no debris or dirt or burrs or anything like that. Also, make sure that the ends of the spring wire, the wire ends of the spring are not bent out, which is a very, very, very rare incident, it hardly ever happens, but should it happen where the end of the, the wire on the spring is sticking out, it could wedge on the inside of the cup and cause the spring not to act smoothly. Also, check and make sure that the slots in the cup are wide enough for the blade to go through smoothly. Um, very, very, very rare that you would ever find one that wouldn't, but let's say if you do find one that doesn't 
slide through smoothly. You can take a screwdriver or the blade itself, put it in there and just slightly tweak it or wedge it and it will open up the slot enough to allow the blade to slide smoothly. After checking that all the components are there on the broadhead, spring, notch ring, and pivot ring, you want to make sure that they're working properly. So just screw an arrow on to the broadhead without the slotted cup and screw it down as it would be about the same distance as if you would you would have the cup in place about like that and then you can actually verify that all the blades are opening the springs moving and that all the components are seated correctly sometimes it's necessary when you open the blade to push rearward on it to help disengage it that way you can make sure everything is opening just right see how the pivot ring is not aligned on the keyway of the aluminum body here with the ferrule and that puts a lot of stress, stress and strain on the spring this one blade over here doesn't have any retention pressure from the spring see it just wobbles that can be a, a problem also so just need to make sure you align it up properly.